Hey everybody, I'm here and I'm going to be ranking Scream movies here. I know we've already did this, but when we did it, I actually didn't watch all the movies. I kind of went along with Jason and switched them up. But I watched all the Scream movies and I got my opinions on them. So let's get to my number four. Now my number four is Scream 3. But um, before I talk about it, I'm going to give something that was good about the movie. And uh, my criteria for it is how good it's made, uh, how funny it was, how good the directing and acting is. And of course, we got to include them kills. But yeah, my number four is Scream 3. Terrible movie overall. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But, um, Scream 3, uh, I just think it's the dumbest thing ever. Like, gas explosions in the house. Uh, Gail checks that dude's pulse when he's not, when he checks his pulse when he, when he's find out he's the killer. Like, he ch checks his pulse. Checks his pulse. I mean, I don't know. I just find it. I just find this movie very confusing and stupid. How funny it was, eh, they tried to be silly but came up, but the movie tried to be tried to be silly but it came out as dog crap. Um, how good the directing was? Terrible. But um, it was directed by Wes Craven, so that adds so that that gives a bonus to any movie that he directs that's directed by him. But I just hated this movie bro. I just Ooh, that voice changer thing, I, oh man, it made me angry every time I saw or heard it, or saw when everybody, anybody used it, like, what do you mean, what do you mean he's the voice changer, there's voice changer in everyone, don't be such a, you dog fart, dude, don't say dog fart, don't, don't, don't say butt hurt, cause you sound 10, um, when you say that, um, but I hated it, I, uh, I just, Oh man, I, mm, I don't know. I really don't. I just hated it. Um, how well the acting was? Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, yeah, I hated it. I just, ooh, but yeah, but yeah, this one, but the voice change for this one really got to me. I just, ooh, like, you can't do that outside a door. Like, you, you know that, the, the one of the first early scene, first kill? I think when the guy's behind the door and he scares him, and it's actually Ghostface, but he uses a stoop, the stupid voice changer, which I don't even think that they would have in 2003. No, wait, that was 2000. Was it? Was that 2000? Yeah, that was 2000. But that was just, I don't know, I hated it. I just disliked it. <sighs> My number three would be Scream 4, a reboot that uh, didn't go so well. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about the things that I liked that was okay in Scream 3. What was okay in that movie? I mean, eh, some parts were okay. It was directed by Wes Craven. That was a good thing in the movie. Um, yeah, that's the only good things about it. But then plus, it, there's some okay... Not, not really too good, but okay kills, not really too much, um, but Scream 4, but I mean, it was a, it was a, it wasn't the greatest reboot, but I mean, you gotta, you, I feel like every good horror movie from the 90s are great, and you get any good horror movie you need to remake, I mean, Scream, this is around the time where every freaking movie was, every freaking horror movie was getting remade, rebooted, so I think that's why they did that. But, um, the characters were likable. I mean, everybody, I mean, the, uh, the ghost face unmasking was pretty, was pretty decent. It was, you know, the kills, they were okay. I mean, uh, that one where the girl was watching TV and she just stabs her out of nowhere. But, I mean, I mean, I didn't, it's not the best. It's not the best. It really isn't, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, um, ooh, what else to talk about it? We got some new characters. We got new technology, and even though they didn't, like, have, like, a whole thing rebooted as well, like, you have, you ha if you're gay, you can survive in a horror movie. 
gay guy dies. But, um, spoilers, yes, there's definitely spoilers in this movie, in this, um, ranking. But, I mean, like, I, I just, I don't know, I didn't like it as much as I thought I would. When I first watched it, I thought it'd be amazing. I thought it would be great since we had that new technology and crap. I just, but, I liked it the first time I watched it, but I, I rewatched it and I just didn't like it the second time I watched it. But it was, it's okay. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's decent. I mean, it's not, it's my number three, so, you gotta go somewhere. Alright, now to my number two. My number two is Scream 2, 1997, I believe. Um, what in the world is that? Cancel! Oh, I keep forgetting about the good things about the movie. Scream 4, good things about it. Characters were likable. Especially that gay guy. He was kind of funny when he said, I'm gay! But, you know, whatever. Um, uh, Scream 2. I mean, great movie. I really liked it. Um, sequel, it was a pretty good sequel. Um, the thing I don't like about the movie is everybody has a cell phone now. So, yeah, it was funnier than the original because you could just pinpoint the one person who actually had a cell phone. But, Scream 2, likable characters. Uh, Sydney Prescott cut her hair. Holla! But, um, uh, Scream masking, eh, I'm not really too fond of that because there's. I think it was, um, I think it was Billy Loomis's mom who played it, who played as the killer. Um, um, so yeah. Scream 2. The thing I didn't like about it, I think, uh, Andy. No, not Andy. What's his name? Shoot. He died. What's his name? Crap. I don't know. I'll remember it sometime this place this video but um scream 2 good movie i really liked it but um yeah we got about what's craven 1997 but i feel like they i mean i some parts were kind of crappy because i feel like it was kind of this movie was kind of rushed because it wasn't even about a whole year after the the original's release so yeah but um I think, it was a, I think it was a good movie. The stab movies really got me confused because I, I don't know. I just, I somewhat, I mean, the the kills are kind of trashy. I'm just saying, I, I just don't like the kills. But I ranked it number two because it was a good movie. The storyline was okay. Storyline was good, but I mean, like, some of the kills are trashy. Like the first one where um, the guy... Has a, gets a knife through his head, the bathroom one, and the girl walks on the stage, ah! like one of the most obnoxious death noises you could ever have in a Scream movie. Um, but yeah, good movie overall, I just, there's some things I didn't like about that movie I just wanted to point out. I think you all see this, seen this one coming. My number one is Scream. It changed the horror genre forever. The comic, the use of comedy in this movie brought the slasher genre back. And I feel like the slasher movies in the 90s were not really as good. Except for Chucky. Chucky's, Chucky was good. But, um, I had to point that out. But Scream, amazing storyline. Wes Craven was an am uh, amazing director. And, um, yeah. Uh, the kills... Most of knife stabs, but the kills were spot on. They're really good. There are some memorable ones, like the um, doggy door. The um, what was it? The uh, TV through the head. And once we find out who the killers are, spoiler alert: Stu and Billy Loomis. I mean, they were both the killers. I was expecting it to be Billy because he was a lot more up in up in people's face up in your face so yeah I mean it was really good it was really suspenseful but the thing I didn't like about it was nothing it was awesome but oh thing I didn't like about Scream 2 is two hours long and I wasted two hours of my time so yeah um I'm joking Scream 2 was great but Scream it brought back the horror genre it piece it was the final piece to bring in it was like the glue for the, just, the slasher genre, 
it was all mixed up, messed around, you know. It was kind of turning into comedy of what I want to say. But Scream, it, Scream, it was the glue. Scream was the glue and the thing that pulled the slasher genre back, you know. And Scream was just amazing overall. I, the greatest, it was no doubt about it, one of the greatest movies ever. But, um, yeah. So... So everybody, I hope you like my rankings. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, ask me questions, give me some su su suggestions on what I should rank or review or give my opinion about. Just ask me, cause I'm kind of running out of ideas on here. Uh, cause I'm kind of running out of ideas here. So um, yeah, there's my uh, review and there, and there's my review. Um, my rankings. So what's your rankings? If you don't agree with me. What's your rankings? And um, and I might be ranking the the Night of the Living Dead franchise. So yeah, I might I might be doing that later. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, stay awesome. Goodbye.